Fernanda Zobel was not only an artist and scholar, but a music enthusiast who enjoyed classical flute music and also learned how to play the instrument. Informed by a vast cultural knowledge, many of Zobel's works were dialogues with nature, music, literature, and painting, the world of art. They were not direct imitations or representations of what the artist saw, but rather memories, interpretations, and comments on what he viewed as essential. This painting from the artist's Serie Blanca period is based on the smooth contours of the artist's favorite musical instrument and pays homage to the 19th century Bavarian flautist, composer, and inventor of the modern flute, Theobald Bohm. Within the square frame, our gaze is automatically drawn to the sets of parallel lines and smoky gray hues just below the center of the canvas. Only the two sets of sharp parallel lines appear fairly solid within the frame. Upon closer inspection, we find two series of circles unevenly dancing within the bars behind swaths of diagonal shadows and highlights on the canvas surface. This allusion to the enlarged tone holes, an addition of keys introduced by Boehm in the flute's body, is perhaps the only obvious reference to the work of the flautist. As we look at the composition more closely, we can also appreciate how Zabel filled the space of canvas, almost in a synesthetic visualization of the bright sound of the wind instrument. Almost three quarters of the composition is filled with light shades of gray. It is not empty or simply white, as we can discern lighter shades within the section of the black bars, but a clear but muted shade. A look at a print rendered by the artist on the same subject indicates how the artist had also visualized the subject surrounding as full of a smoky, almost atmospheric presence. When asked about this series of paintings, Zubel had said, It all started a couple of years ago, when I tried to learn to play the flute. Inevitably, I began looking very closely at the shape of the instrument, which, like most musical instruments, had a fascinating shape. And in this particular case, a wonderfully ambiguous one. You might define the shape of a flute as two parallel lines animated by reflections. It is a shape so simple in itself that it can suggest almost anything. A horizon, for instance. And that is the way I began to see it, by neglecting its proper scale in order to suggest the scale of a landscape. This grew into a whole sequence concerned with light and space, and memory as well. Always, the theme is so simple and so vague that it leaves room for everything.